welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our brand new set Snow Day and its coordinating die. So let's go ahead and stamp it out. And here we have the really cute bunnies in this set. I love that they are in three different positions so you can place them around in cute little scenes. Then we have this great little bird and some wonderful trees. We have this blank tree that you could color in or paper piece and then a solid tree and then my favorite solid tree. I just love that curly design. And here is a little bow that goes on top of the trees. I think it's just so cute. Then we have these tiny little hearts and dots that are perfect for decorating that blank tree. So I stopped, stamped one out below and I wanted to show you there how you can just add those little hearts to the tree. And then we also have a little dot stamp you'll see right there which looks really cute on the tree too. So it's really fun to decorate your trees just adding these little dots and hearts all around them. Next we have some great snowflakes. It's larger and smaller so you can kind of create your scene. A wonderful music note, a heart which also looks cute on top of the trees, and a treble clef. We have this great large heart, which I just love, and then this little scarf that fits right over the heart. The other great thing about the scarf is it fits a lot of our critters too, so it's a really cute scarf to use with a lot of different stamp sets. I absolutely love this tree line. It is so cute, and you can keep stamping it over and over again, which I love. We have this great merry and bright sentiment, and then you warm my heart. So now let's go ahead and add some color with some Copic markers and just brighten these little guys up a little bit. And here's a look at all of those fun colored images. I love that there's a mix of both solid and open line stamps in this set. And here are the coordinating dies. Right at those little tabs, you'll just bend them apart and all of the dies will be separated and ready for you to use. And you'll see how easily they line up with the stamped image. And I just like to use some low tack tape to keep the die correctly in place. And then I can continue to add my dies run it through my die cut machine and get these adorable little cut critters. And here you'll see all of the images die cut. One thing I love about that heart die cut is that it cuts a great heart with or without the stamp. So it's really fun to use the die in both ways and you can see how well these dies work together. So now I thought it would be fun to create a card. So right here I've got the little banner from the set Penelope's Blossoms and the sentiment Merry and Bright fits perfectly in this banner which I just love. So I'm gonna stamp that out and then I'll go ahead and stamp out a ton of those trees in different shades of green because I'm going to create a fun little forest with them. So you'll see all the different shades I'll stamp them out in and how great they look in all the fun different colors of green. And then I thought it would be fun to add some color with my Copic markers again to the banner. So I'm going to use kind of this icy turquoisey blue and I'm just going to blend it out keeping it dark on the outside and lighter towards the centers, that way my sentiment will still really pop on it.
And now I'm ready to die cut. And it'll take a little while, but I'm gonna go through and die cut each tree, but it's gonna be worth it in the end. So here you can see all of those little trees cut out. And now I'm ready to start figuring out the placement on my card. And I'm just playing around on my card front, kind of seeing what I'd like. And then I decided it would be nice to use some paper from the Snow Day collection to represent the snow in the background. And now I'm trying to decide where I want to put one of my stitched hillside border dies. So I'm just putting those bunnies there, making sure that they fit within the hill. And then I'm going to shift that die over to my white piece of cardstock there. And that way I can cut it right about the right spot. And I just love that stitch detail. And now that I have the bunny set up again, I'm gonna use it as a guide to decide where my next hill is gonna go. And that kind of let me know where that next little bump should go. And you can see it's kind of creating a fun snow background. And now I'm gonna die cut my last hill there. And you'll see I wasn't sure how tall to make it when I was die cutting it. So I thought, you know what, I'll just die cut it from a scrap piece. And then I can just make a little mark with my pencil and cut off the bottom end so that it's the perfect height for my card. Now that my snowy hills are in place, I'm gonna start placing all of my elements in the exact spot that I'm gonna want them in the card. And you'll see I'm just placing things in and out, trying to decide what's gonna look the best and just playing around with all of those different trees. And as soon as I find that right placement, I take a picture with my phone because that's how I know that I can recreate it later on. And so now I can start adhering all of those snowy hills down And then I will adhere that last one with some foam adhesive just to add some nice dimension. And then it'll be time to start adding all of the trees. So I'm adding some of them with just some tape runner and some with foam dots. I'm placing some behind the hills, some in front of the hills, and that's just gonna make it really look even more like a forest. You could also do this if you didn't want to do all the die cutting. You could just go ahead and stamp directly on some white or blue cardstock uh, for the sky, and that would look really, really great too. And then I'll add my last tree in place. And I can go ahead and stamp my sentiment in some red ink. I was super nervous because I didn't want to mess up my Copic coloring, but finally for once I didn't mess up my sentiment. I don't know about you guys, but I always tend to mess up my sentiments. Always the last thing, right? And then I'm going to put those bunnies there so that it looks like they're holding the banner in this fun snowy scene. Here I have my Snow Day 6x6 pad, and I'm going to try out a bunch of different red card stocks to see which one I like the best. I love doing this with my pads. I just put the card on until I see what I like the best, and I really like that one. So I'll trim that piece down to the standard size card and create a standard size card base of four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And once my card is ready, I can go ahead and add my pattern paper and then add the fun scene to the card. And I love that red, it really gives it a nice pop for the holidays. And lastly, I'm gonna add some glitter with my Wink of Stella glitter pen all over the trees. And then I'm also gonna add it onto the banner, but only towards the outside portions. I thought that would look kinda of cool if it kinda of went along with the shading that I did on the banner. And I love all of that sparkly goodness there. Since I made a more complicated card with this set, I thought it would be fun to create a quick and easy card with this set. So I'm gonna stamp the heart, large heart from the set in red, and then stamp this great little scarf in some brown ink. And then just add some quick color with my Copic marker, just filling in every other spot there on my little scarf. Then I'll use the dies to cut these out, and that's one of the things that's gonna make this card really, really quick and easy. And hold them in place with some low tack tape, run it through my die cut machine, and I'll have some great die cut pieces. Now I'm using some of the stitch rectangles, which is my go-to for quick and easy sets. And then I'll stamp the You Warm My Heart sentiment. And add that heart with some foam dots, just to add a little extra something, since it is quite a simple card. And then I'm gonna go in my Snow Day collection here and find some great red cardstock to coordinate with the red heart and use a stitch rectangle two sizes up 
to create a nice little border. And that is four and a half inches tall by three and a quarter inches wide. So I'm gonna create a little custom sized card base for it. Adhere that larger rectangle down and then adhere the smaller rectangle with foam adhesive once again for just a little extra something since it is so simple. I love that I can make a ton of these and have them ready to go for the holidays. And lastly, of course, you guys know I keep adding glitter. I can't help it, um, but I just look so pretty in person. So I just want to glitter everything. I usually have to keep myself from not adding it to the entire card. And so there you can see all that little sparkle. And here's a look at that cute, simple card. And then a look at the two cards from the video. I love that you can get two completely different looks and styles from one stamp set. So this is Snow Day and its coordinating dies. I love this set so much for more complicated scene cards and more simple cards like the one above, and I cannot wait to see what you guys create with it. So I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.